So this uh, border breakdown in the U.S. really about the Supreme Court uh, decision. This they will be deciding the fate of President Obama's immigration plan this week. But also at the same time, we're hearing reports of um, illegals just flooding into the country at a at a much higher pace. The surge, in fact, this year is already passed last year in um, you know similar time periods the numbers are higher this year already and Texas Congressman uh, Blake Farenfeld is on this he's uh, pushing for a, a crackdown at the border and joins us now uh, from Capitol Hill hey, first of all before we talk about what you why is why do you think the numbers are higher this year what's behind this surge I think you're seeing folks realize we've got a pretty open immigration policy and that we're not enforcing the laws on the book. And they're seeing Donald Trump on TV just like everybody else and thinking, wow, this guy gets elected, it's going to get shut down. Right, so I better get in ahead of that um, just in case. Okay, on the Supreme Court uh, case, I mean, part of this, you have a, a policy that would allow people who were brought here when they were younger, right? They were brought here when they were children um, illegally and now they want to stay, right? That's a big part of this. So what. Your point of view, what's wrong with that? I mean, what, why shouldn't they be allowed to stay, in other words? Well, you need to enter this country legally. That's the bottom line. As we continue to give more and more people amnesty or don't enforce the laws that we have on the books, it invites more people to come. And. You know, the children are, are a tough case, but you see right. mothers putting uh, babies as young as uh, two months old in the hands of strangers to bring them across into this country, and that's dangerous. To that point of being a tough case, um, let me try, I, mean, I know this is obviously going to politicize it, but how do you think that is playing? This is election year, and you have people that say, boy, what are you doing here? These are kids. They grew up here. They went to school here. Does that, is that hurting Republicans, do you think, or is it a, an, an issue that Republicans can capitalize on, this particular one? No. You know, I, I think the border security is what's the important issue. And if you look at uh, what the message it sends as we do things, everybody uh, learns if you break the law, you can get away with it. We can't send that message. Now, that being said, we've got to treat folks with compassion. We've got uh, children here who you know, don't speak a word of Spanish that crossed our southern border that grew up in this country. But the American people aren't willing to deal with legalizing folks until we have gotten to the point the border is secure. Why change our immigration law if we're not going to bother to enforce it to begin with? Yeah, what do you make of what's happening, by the way, just because uh, we were talking about it earlier in the UK? Um, this European uh, you know, debate they're having this week kind of parallels our discussion a little bit of that they're worried about the, the migrant crisis, which is a little different than the immigration, or maybe it's not. And maybe the, the two are a little bit related. It seems like kind of a global discussion everybody's having about what, what kind of borders we need, you know? Well, the Europeans are complaining that you get into one country in the EU, you can move all throughout exactly the right. EU. Yep. You get into Mexico, you can come pretty much move freely in the United States because we don't bother to enforce the border. It's very much the same. And we are seeing Middle Eastern, Syrian folks that are caught on the Texas border. Hmm. The bad guys, uh, and of course not all of them are, but the bad guys know that you can cross easily into right. the United States through the Texas border. Well, that is and that's the, a security risk. Yeah, that is where the issues kind of come together. Okay, Congressman, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, thanks for coming on today.